it was a couple of months ago. I walked into the HRO and Billy put this microphone in my hand. It's a Uniden. You can see the little bear claw or bear cat logo on here. It is a wireless microphone. And initially I wasn't that impressed by it until he said, hey, I have this working on uh, the ICOM radio that we have on the floor. Obviously, this is a CB microphone made by Uniden for the Bearcat line of radios. How did he have it connected? And he told me that it's just simply a matter of changing the connector on the base connector or the sinking body uh, that's connected to the radio, or you can actually just buy an adapter cable off of eBay. And so then I was like, okay, I'll take this home and give this a whirl. I did buy this, uh, and I have lots of thoughts about it. So let's talk a little bit about the Bearcat CB wireless microphone, specifically for ham radio. Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu. Uh, yeah, copy that, copy that. I'm, I'm using this Uniden wireless CB microphone, so I don't know how, uh, how good it is in, uh, in getting in there, but I'm, I'm glad you got me. Thank you for the check-in. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, back to net control. So one of the downsides on this is that the volume must be up on the radio for this to then be up. But then when you have this, you can mute this down to just hearing the radio. So if you're walking around, um, you can crank up the volume on this. Otherwise, just use the volume on the radio. All right, so this thing is $89.99 on Amazon. I think you might be able to get it uh, about the same price or cheaper at Ham Radio Outlet. It comes with, obviously, the microphone. It has a small caddy that kind of can be screwed onto something that the mic slides into, and that is the sync device or the receiver for the transmitter, the wireless transmitter that's in this. There is no onboard charging when you sync it or dock it on that little caddy slash cradle thing. That is the big downside on this unit is that it only charges off of mini USB, which is an old port, pretty old technology. With that said, on a single charge, this lasts for a very long time. I was able to uh, leave this charged up and just have it connected on my boom arm here, and I could take this clip off, which which I just broke. So I guess that's not very reliable. The clip came off. Let me see if I can fix this. The screws don't go in that far. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty rough. It's going to be a forever bond. Don't screw too hard, um, you'll thread it. So just get it in and seat it and then leave it alone. Well, I think I fixed it. Anyway, basically standard kind of thing. You can clip this on your belt or whatever um, and then it comes right off. Clip is pretty nice. Uh, all in all, it's a, it's a pretty okay unit performance wise. This advertises to get 100 meters away from the receiver, that little cradle thing. And so far I've found that it does work. It has a volume control. pretty far well 40 feet with the radio inside starting to get a little drop out whiskey 7 echo yankee is running the net right now hrcc net Kilo, India 6, November Alpha, Zulu. Now I will say, while this uh, Uniden Bearcat wireless mic is cool, I'm literally on the roof right now monitoring something on HF. Um, <laughs> the downside, I'm assuming the folks that made this didn't think about this, but uh, there's no VFO control, this is a CB unit. 
channel ICB, what's the worst you do? You reach down and change the channel. You mainly only work one channel. Eh, sometimes when you're working CB. Depends, but HF Ray does not like that. Certain frequencies are in use, some aren't. And the ability that I can't change this makes this okay maybe for nets. Like if I want to check into an HF net, like like the HRCC net that's going to be in an hour or so. I could tune this frequency up and sit there on it and it would work pretty well, but when I'm up on the roof like this, not that great. Also, I'm guessing this is probably not safe uh, radiation. Um, being in the proximity of my step IR this close, I don't know, what do you think? All right, so at $90 and then another 35 to get the cable adapter off of eBay, this thing is a novelty at best. Okay, it, it, it's kind of fun in the shack if you are a, a rag chewer, meaning you sit on one frequency and you don't really move around too much. It's pretty okay. I, I had no problem using this to sign into the ham radio crash course net that we do on Fridays. No problem just being able to walk around the house, be able to listen. Audio quality is not great in this though from uh, from all of my testing. It works fine if you have a high noise environment like I do in the suburbs, then you're gonna hear a lot of that noise, that frying eggs and bacon kind of sound coming out of the speaker. This is a fun little kind of stocking stuffer. Is stocking stuffer at $90? Maybe not. This is a fun little add-on for a ham who kind of has everything and is a real avid talker and generally hangs out with the same folks on the air. This person, whomever gets that, if, if that's the type of ham you know when you're thinking about buying something for a ham radio operator that kind of has everything, this may just be the thing that they'll just love. Why is this beeping? There will be a link in the description to Amazon. Yes, it's an affiliate link, so it does help me out if you end up buying this thing. It's cool enough that you might want to check it out, but it's not too cool that I'd be like, yes, this is the greatest thing ever. Definitely not for everybody. If you have experience with this, why don't you leave your comments below? I'm Josh KI6NAZ. Thanks so much for watching. I'm now linking you to a video that I think you might really, really enjoy. So go take a look. 73.